Did, did you know the c control button skips dialogue in this game? Because that's also a button that I use to start and stop recordings. But unfortunately it doesn't matter because you can just restart for the day. On, on the title screen anyway. Good evening! You look bummed, boss. Starting tomorrow there'll be no more corgis in our bar. Why wouldn't I be sad? You have not even been here doing anything with the dogs. Like I said, what what do you do? What is your what is your purpose? What is my purpose? I sit in the back room. Oh my god. Maybe because it's starting tomorrow there'll be no more cores the bar. I wonder if I wonder if the Shiba the Appreciation Society might be interested in booking us. One problem at a time, boss. Wait, I know someone from the Pomeranian Development Institute. Why do you know so many dog things? One problem at a time. So, you've been tense ever since Friday. Are you worried about Gil or something? That doesn't seem like the sort of thing she would be. See? 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 Trust me, of all my worries, Gil is the least of them. Put on some music to enjoy the day, won't you? Right. Uh, yeah. Bartondar, we made a gun. Oh, Miss Betty. Hello. And Mr. Corgi Lover. I don't think we ever learned your name. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Call me Deal. Deal. Deal? Deal. Wipe that satisfied look up your faces, you two. <clears throat> what can I serve you today? I'll have a bear. I'm not a designated driver today, so give me a fringe weaver. Alright, coming up. Beer for them. Flanders, some Bronson, um, Flarpus, Barpus. All right, that's this disgusting one. He's he's hardcore on this stuff. Aged, mixed. There you go. Here, thanks. Thank you. You seem distracted. Is something so many dogs finally got into you? No. Well, yeah, it's not that. My boss has been acting weird since Friday. Weird how? Romantic weird? Drug addict weird? Let's hope nobody finds the body in the fridge weird. <laughs> Why not all three? For starters, this is the fact she only told me we were being booked moments before we opened. Plus, she completely distracted or lost in her thoughts. I mean, she usually doesn't even, like, do anything, so. Like, yo, worse. Oh. <laughs> She's not being herself. That makes me wonder what's going on. Like, what? Do you run a human trafficking ring in the basement? No, we don't have a license for that. <laughs> oh, well, thinking about it too much is not part of my job. Can I ask you something about your job? Sure. He got even more posh. I've been curious, what does the BTC need in their bartenders? What do you need to study? They train you from scratch, you basically don't have to study anything from beforehand. What does the training involve? It's a lot of etiquette and regulation work. Most of our time is actually spent in simulations. Simulations? The game! It was a simulation all along. It's like Metal Gear Solid VR training. Different scenarios involving different chemical hazards, that sort of thing. I should be able to respond to every possible situation that might come up involving our ingredients. What What exactly are in, in our ingredients again? I mean, the chances for failure are really slim, but it's better not to take those chances. I see. This makes me want to drink much more beer at your bar, yes. Quite. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I must change back. I must attend to the other clients. Dogs. That. Uh, oh, sure. Mr. Puff. They're chasing me, man! Who? The cabbages, man! The goddamn cabbages! They're everywhere! They're out from my rump! Here. Never mind. Can I get you anything to calm down? The big blue fairy would be nice. Okay, then. The dog wants a big blue fairy! <clears throat> Alright, he wants a big navvy. This involves no blue ingredients. Is that? No, it's that. Two Flanders. Just... This guy seems like he needs some drink, some alcohol. Aged and mixed. Here. Thanks. Very nice of you. Third bark day. <sighs> Something the matter? Nothing to drink can't solve. Not sure about that, but it's hardly my job to preach sobriety. What do you want? Give me a gut punch. Okay. Let's flee back once a gut punch. He's a flea punching bag. A 
Okay, getting them drunk definitely does not matter at all. I can see why they, they decided for this for like a, a, a tryout thing. It doesn't really require any like complicated like, you know, any kind of interweaving of plot lines or anything. It's just funny dog, give drink. Another funny dog, give drink. Lore building, or world building, then funny dog. Thanks. Hey, you ever felt guilty for being born in the wrong race? The what now? I don't hear so much about how we're how we're racist. I'm wondering, are you racist? Not really. <laughs> Just a little bit. You feel like other corgis might be? Definitely. I mean, then why worry? It's not like they're calling you racist. You shouldn't take generalizations personally. You might be right. Man, you see the see the cutie I saw like yesterday on the way home. She looked like a cat boomer. She's wearing a mini dress and she had this prosthetic eye. Though you're against people using prosthetics. I'm not against cute though. <laughs> you're alright with me, buddy. Besides, I'm not against prosthetics. I'm only against enhancements. I don't see a difference between the two. Alright, let me put it this way. If you lost an arm, replace it with a mechanical arm that does exactly what the old one did. I'm okay with that. If you lost your arm, replace it with a gun-loaded super arm from hell. <laughs> That's something I'm not okay with. Even worse. As if you decide to place your arm because it's because of fashion or a whim, or to get better in some sport, that's completely not cool. Let's just try to set a arm and enhancement, replacement versus enhancement. I have a similar opinion about Lilim replacing their factory parts for Kirks. I feel like it's kind of an easy way to get better at something. You're in it for a bad surprise. Well, I can see why you think that, but what suggested you she had, that what she had was an enhancement? She had bad eyesight. Wouldn't that count as an enhancement, even if it fixes it? How does reparative work fix you into your ideologies? It might be enhancements, but they might also replace something faulty. Well, uh, Donna, it's not making a sense, you big piece of scrap. You're working my resolve. Have you fun? Oh, bartender, that was fast. Seems we lots of dogs out today. At least the dogs that want to drink. <laughs> yeah, some of them ate their tickets. Lovely. I'll be the one dealing with that later. Say. What's your take on the whole enhancement discussion, bartender? Oh, I'm just saying. Anyone can make a chandelier out of their asses. That's not a very good saying. <laughs> Which somehow means your body, your choices. If they're not hurting anyone, I don't see any point in hating them. Let's see, Betty. Hi, I don't say I won't automatically hate anyone who has an enhancement. You being against something isn't the same as being against someone. I'm not some 12-year-old blindly hanging on somebody or something like that. Maybe you should practice what you preach. What does that mean? I fear retaliation, so I'm not saying another word. Are you two gonna order anything? I'm fine. She's drinking mine, actually. Alright, tell me if you need anything else. Sure. Wrong voice. Ow. <laughs> so much for avoiding retaliation. Poop, poop eater. You're not gonna believe me. I was in the bathroom, and this other dog was looking at me from the top of the sink! You mean the mirror? No, another dog! I see. What can I serve you? You're not gonna do anything about that other dog on top of the sink? I'm sure he doesn't want to hurt anybody, don't worry. I hope you're right. Well, I want something really sweet. Coming right up. Uh, there you go. Powder Delta. Alright, I don't have time for optional Blarpadarp. Thanks! Please think about the thing with the dog on the sink! I will, don't worry. Well then, that was quick. Like I said, there aren't too many dogs today. I heard someone booked us for three days, I expected more of an attendance. While you were gone, this fellow here said that the Bleeding Jane is better than a pile driver. Please, prove him wrong. All I'm saying is I don't see the point in drinks if you like a kick in the mouth and a beverage. You ordered a crevice spike, you uppity little bitch! Whoa, whatever. Yeah, what do you think, bartender? You think there's any point in discussing non-alcoholic drinks at a bar? My opinion, people order bad touch always make you giggle like an idiot, though. That's not an opinion, that's a statement. Oh well, please service either pile drivers or bleeding janes. I'll let you decide which one is better. Pile driver and or bleeding jane, okay. Whichever one is easier to make. Alright, pile driver. Alright, that sounds slightly harder. Alright, one of them's. Uh. Powdered Delta. London. Uh. 
I, I'm doing this because Deal is being a prick. He's like... <laughs> Whatever. Wait. Did Deal want the Playl Drive? I don't even care. Yas. Yeah, take his side. See if I car. How did you end up discussing that? Well, it started when I told this guy who wasn't... I wasn't crazy about the idea of just working for corgis. Why don't you like corgis? They're cute, fluffy, and funny, and they just make you smile! Tell me one interesting thing about them. Legends say they were created by a fairy, and the breed was raised to fight dragons. Well, that fairy fucked, the, fucked up completely because those are very bad at fighting dragons. Oh, you gotta be kidding. No, actually, I think I heard that one, too. Is that real? Rollo. Still, I can't see why you're so tired of them. I don't know, maybe because they only deal with them at their worst. I've only seen them in their happy state. I'm the one running feces samples and clogging their sphincters. <laughs> they eat their honor's dental floss. Thank you for reminding me why I do not own a dog. I might be their veterinarian, but they treat me more like a mom and not in a good way. Not like I'm being a gynecologist. After a while, I just stop seeing boobs and vaginas, so you just see issues you must fix. At least they're cute issues. I. I don't think dog anus is cute. I get get out of my bar. The pines, the gynecologist can't pick clients by age or preferences. I'm sorry about your job. Oh yeah, that too. Still, I don't think it's so much that I'm tired of them as I'm tired of you being so obsessed with them. I'm not obsessed, I'm passionate. You sleep with a corgi plush and you have a wall dedicated to photos you take out the company. You're 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 a creepy dude, deal. What's what's your deal? I'm really passionate? Too much passion can make an issue, you know. So you have issues. You talk with the directors about the cardigan conflict? That sounds like a Star Wars thing. Star Wars 8, the cardigan conflict. I think we're already on 8, but whatever. I was gonna do that tomorrow when they're all together. I don't see why I should be the one doing it. For starters, they don't take me too seriously. I don't take you seriously either. Understandable. <laughs> see? I don't take you seriously either. I mean, in the end, they're all dogs. Still dogs. They need they need someone with a strong, commanding voice. Are you saying I have a naggy voice? <laughs> Will you do when I talk for you? No, not your voice, just your entire demeanor. So I have a naggy demeanor? Let's say you're talking, talking about the whole race conflict. Yeah, this is hurting them more than I think. The company might actually collapse at this rate. Well, good. Which is terrible, because a couple of these dogs are a couple of these dogs' family are dependent on these peg checks. Doesn't that count as unethical and unusual treatment of animals? It's a bit of a legal gray area. The dogs are all doing it willingly, after all. Even though we're doing it willingly, the dogs are actually being mistreated or exploited. In fact, the company's pretty relaxed. Except for the racism thing. Speaking of relaxed, how's Jurgen doing? Who's Jurgen? He's fine. Still complaining about his back. Still unwilling to take his medicine. He says he's not that weak. Who's this Jurgen guy? My guardian. I passed the test years ago, but I couldn't leave him. It's actually commonplace, isn't it? Little being unable to leave their guardians because they feel too much like family. Not to be fair, people get attached to many things. Some even get attached to obsessed with inanimate objects, like dogs. My grandpa loves his car more than any of his sons. The one who's left. <laughs> the one who's well left all his earthly possessions to his car. Can you do that? Yeah, that one. I become a Lulim's guardian. You fill, a, you fulfill a form at the Artificial Intelligence Council. Then they do a background tech. If you seem useful, they'll give you an authorization. If you're given a week's notice before they, they give you all the data about the Lulim you'll be taken care of. You have to watch over it until you can pass three different personality tests. Lulim wants to stay with you after that. That's your problem. <laughs> nice. So it's like adoption. The lottery all rolled into one. They do that to diversify the possible outcomes. Two Lilim can be of the same age, but grow differently depending on the guardians. What if something happens to the guardian? A new guardian can appeal to the council, saying they're more fit to position the original. This happens when a guardian has become unavailable in some way, or because you can back up claims of neglect or maltreatment. You spit out all that information like it's hard coded in you. I worked in that department for some time, coming to the SDC. It's almost a reflex. Are you interested in becoming a guardian bartender? I don't know. I'm just a nerd when it comes to AI in, in general. The money I, they give you for it is not that great, though. I see. 
well. Time to check on the time to check on the dogs. Listen to your punk, money shredder. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a punk. It's just I was chasing my tail and I'm too hyper to control myself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just give me anything, all right? Bob wants anything. Bob, it's safe to give him something sweet. Okay. Give him one of these because of that. This is good. Very good. Very good! Huh. No, see, I can see the value of other dog races, like Pomeranians. Those are nice, but they aren't corgis. Don't tell me you're a dog racist, too. Dog racists out of my bar. Well, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, remember that cute girl from earlier I messed with? Yeah. The white knight that was with her? Yeah, it's obviously talking about Stella. The cat with the quad drills. She wasn't half bad either. It's obvious that a tapestry of muscles was hidden under her armor. <laughs> a tapestry of muscles. I prefer more delicate looking girls though. I can appreciate how they look, but it doesn't mean this is necessarily your thing. And you, bartender? Why am I involved in this? Which dog race do you prefer? Unlike everyone else in this game, I am not a dog racist. That's not the question I was expecting. Oh, so he's the dog racist, she's just like, she's out for some cute chicks, so. I, I, I will condone your discretions, but not yours. Get out. Not much of a dog person, actually. Johnny Potts? Cat named Four, yeah. You just a stray rescued. Would you like rescuing girls, too? <laughs> I'm sure I should be making a witty retort, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. Weird. I always thought the rescue fantasy was universal. Well, I call it Four. Four is a little of my Mets a long time ago that, never mind. Pretty lame name if you ask me. Better than calling it Ass Hat. I bet you, I bet you when, when you and Four play, it's quite the sight, huh? So lively, sometimes I, f I fear Four shadows my person presence entirely. You guys want to lose consciousness that much? You really need to calm down with the whole pun hating thing. I didn't even get that pun. But to move for this whole Four <laughs> I got that one. But removed for this whole foreground. What is this rescue fantasy that you mentioned? You know, where we are the You know, where we were dangerous souls redeem themselves through the power of love. The bad boy who turns away a life of crime. The drug out a girl who lived on the street and turned tracks until she found a good man worth changing for. It's quite a romance cliche is what I want. Well, you're the one with a shelf full of old lady romance novels. Let's trust you on this. Hey, Fabio the 13th is a national treasure. You don't even like guys, why do you read all those novels? That lets you put yourself in the place of the main character quite easily. Even if said main character is a muscular man? I say no problem. Just, what is your self-image? I can ask something else. What is it? Why do you hate puns so much? My parents died in the pun factory. Many people cringe at puns, you know. Yeah, but you react like you have a vendetta against them. I've met plenty of people like that. That make me feel stupid. What? When I was a kid, everyone in my house had a parchment for making puns at the drop of a hat. I was the only one who couldn't get them. Years later, I finally got them, and they weren't that funny! They make me feel stupid. All that name was some terrible joke that wasn't even funny in the first place. I said this a few times, I might as well make a recording, but you need to chill out, buddy. I am chilling out. Just because I complain about stuff doesn't mean I'm not relaxed. Same. I'm not sure that's how it works. Trust me, when I'm tense and angry, I'll blow it. Same. I fear the thought. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to check on the dogs. It's supposed to be their doctor, and they're being suspiciously quiet. Be careful. You know anything else? I'll have a bloom light. Make it two, please. Okay. You can just get a big one. Is that... Is that a thing? Can you go, go to a bar and order a big thing? I've never, I've never thought of like going and be like, give me a big beer. I want a, I want a big one. Aged on the rocks. Next. So unnecessarily brown. I guess lots of alcohol is pretty unnecessarily brown. Well, I guess necessarily brown. Pretty off. Pfft. Why does it make the money get sound? Oh wait, that's not what I wanted anyway. Oh no, it's this again. Um, it's just so hard to talk over this. <laughs> Unnecessarily brand on a raid. Blah blah blah. 
There you go. Here. Fox. Or, so you do seem to get along quite well. Yeah, when you're the only sentient human knowing to the company, it kind of happens. Sentient. We were at, We have a couple of test mannequins and cardboard cutouts, so I see. Well, seems seems there's more to it than just that, though. And even if you two are the only ones of your kind, you can still hate each other. Well, I'm guessing one of the few that can stand Betty. She's a really nice person, but she doesn't sugarcoat things. Yeah, I can see that. You should see her treating those dogs. She becomes patient and understanding, even if it's only for a little while. The dogs don't call her mom to mock her. Can dogs mock people? I don't know. Even if it's only for a little while. You were eavesdropping? So you can say things, nice things in a while. Once in a while. You say it like I'm the aggressive one here. It's nice hearing people say good things about you once in a while, you know. You should take your own advice. Maybe some other time. I'm not a hug box. <laughs> Anything happened? The dog in the bathroom got angry at his reflection in the mirror and charged into it. Luckily nothing bad happens. Just made a dog very confused. How the hell did they get on top of the sinks? Surprising that they're surprisingly agile with those stubby little legs. Oh yeah, I ordered you this. Ah, uh, thanks. By the way, Betty, how's Veronica? <laughs> she we broke up as well. <laughs> they're be <laughs> from Archie. Amazing. What? Well, things are not going so well. We got too used to each other. Everything's starting to become routine. We decided to break up before things got better. Why didn't you tell me that before? Why? Did you want to return to the Betty Mobile? I don't know. I guess I didn't want to trouble you. After a while, it was starting to feel like something. It was something relevant to say. So, uh, please don't do that again. Try trusting me. This is some real relationship complications music right here. Yeah, you're right. You know what bothers me? The fact that after asking. The fact that. Asking after someone's health always makes you feel like you're walking on a floor full of glass shards. So I this chance the other person's not okay, or even dead. I started as a legitimately fun moment can go sour. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for not trusting you, y'all piece of scrap. Don't worry, I understand why you did it. Hey. Hey, now that you think about it, you sure hang out with us a lot, bartender. Well, dogs can only be so interesting. Besides, I haven't been as many dogs today. Is my presence unwanted? Not at all, especially when you're one, when bringing them booze. You're like those cab drivers that like to chat the whole way. But you smell better than most of them. I haven't endured such a cab driver myself, fortunately. I would... I would have no idea what to do. I don't live in a city that really necessitates that. The funny thing is that we're unofficially associated with the local taxi line. They're the one that sends drunkards to their homes. You seem to really, really like talking to your clients. Like, it's the best part of your job or something. It kind of is. I used to sit around and cry at a place like malls and bars and think to myself, every, each and every person here has a story. It's a humbling experience. Wow, Jill. Everyone has dreams, fears, and loved ones. Where's the real Jill? What, what is this? What is this cheesy crap? If you dig deep enough, you realize the gap between two random people isn't as big as you think it is. Seriously, Jill, take, take, take your pills. Or something. In fact, it's quite small. And in this job, you get to hear all kinds of stories. Some people just blurt it all out. Some do it while drunk. But no, I'm at a house similar. They might seem at first glance. No two people are alike. It is fascinating. You can be a powerful information broker with all that knowledge. Nah, not interested. I like to see myself more as a friendly ear. Someone you need to be wary of. I guess there's still decent folks out there. I'm not decent? You're critically obsessed with dogs. I'll go see if there are any other dogs who want something. Sure, go ahead. Gruff bucket, quick, a beer. Okay. He wants something, anything. No, he wants a, he wants a beer. He, he specifically said beer, dude. Two Flanders. One of them mixed, have a beer. Thanks. Now, boom! Why did you break the glass? I made breakfast. Get it? Because you made the drink fast, and I broke it. Go. Tough crowd. Suddenly, I understand the hate for puns. <laughs> Ratbender! Did you just call me Ratbender? Heh, <laughs> your job is a funny name. Oh, 
Somebody's wasted. Your job was a funny time. How was she already drunk? She way, drunk way less than she did last night. Yeah, but she drank a bottle before coming here. Why would you pre-game a free bar? What is wrong with you? Why? I wish I knew. It's an example of her alcohol tolerance, though. Broad answer. I want to make a toast to my good friend the robot here. My voice changes when I'm drunk, you see. Probably the only good person robot thing that can stand by happen for more than half an hour. It's only been 25 minutes. You cheeky bitch. Without him, my job would be five times more boring. And my life, two times more meaningless. Cheers. You're not holding a drink. Then give me one, ten Ben Trader. It's not your job. I need a beer. A big one. Okay. Get a big beer. I wonder what happens when you get these wrong, but I'll just play it normal for now. Need a bigger Reno. Beer Reno. Mixed. There you go. Our hat cheers. I said cheers. 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 You're right. Grumpy when sober and a sweetheart when drunk. It seems like she's been like this since her university years. You make her sound like those were a decade ago. <clears throat> I can understand the drinking the taste, liking the taste of alcohol. But what's so good about being drunk? That's a hell of a sentence. I mean, if you tasted beer alcohol, it's not particularly good. It's the other stuff that makes it not good. First of all, I'm not drunk. You're too happy. I'm a happy person. Quit drunk. <laughs> this is the one that reminds me of um, uh, WarioWare. I remember mentioning that in the original Let's Play. <laughs> Right back when. Oh crap, I forgot to mention that if, if, I forgot to mention when I started the prologue series that I, I played this whole game, so if you're interested in this, you can go see that. Even though this comes after, like this is actually before it, so maybe watch that after this, especially since you're like at the last episode of the last thing. But yeah, the, the, I played the whole game if you want to see that, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, otherwise, that's something you could just, can just explain. You just like it, your body needs shit. Crave shit. That's called alcoholism. <laughs> exactly. It's called being an alcoholic. I'm returning to the term alcoholic enthusiast. I know. Humans actively look for things that make them feel lightheaded. Why else would they leave poison in potentially poisonous foods like that weird balloon fish thing? Why well, would they eat spicy food or drink fermented milk? Spicy food does not do that. Seriously, how crazy does someone have to eat the beat to see like, hey, let's eat this, see what happens. We are pretty stupid. We, we kind of eat all of the things, like spice. Spice is literally just plants saying, hey, don't eat me. And then we started breeding plants to specifically have the thing that says don't eat me. And pineapples, not only are they covered in freaking like spikes, um, did you know that pineapples eat you back? When you eat a fresh pineapple, um, if you've ever like had your mouth bleed or hurt a lot because you ate like a whole pineapple, fresh pineapple in one sitting, um, they have enzymes that break down uh, proteins and stuff, which, you know, they, they digest you back, literally. So that's why you don't want to pig out on uh, like an, an entire uh, pineapple. Not that I have done such a thing, but yes. If you ever wondered why that can hurt, it is why. It's not gonna like kill you or anything, but it can damage your mouth a little bit. Mouth's heal, of course, but yeah. Where shit. If you found medicine amongst all that junk, what invented penicillin is the worst of them all. Yeah, penicillin was from like some orange rinds or something that they left out. Fair enough, but see, that's proof you're drunk. If you were sober, you would just say, hell if I know. Shirley robot, tricks for kitsch. Now that I think, what kind of robot are y'all? Lilim. Lilim sounds too feminine. Okay, then. What matter of pieces strap are you? You don't know? I never care, but now I'm curious. 
Oh well, you won't remember it tomorrow. I'm a DT old. <laughs> DT old. He's... He's, uh... He's a C-3PO. A social development robot. Is that like Gia- oh, No. That doesn't exist. No. 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 My line are tailored for resilience. We are work, Lilin. Why must you be cursed to only... To only one destiny for the moment you're born? You can do whatever you want, you shitty robot. Fire your dreams! I know. I'm already doing it. <laughs> really likes dogs. Being created or hardwired for one duty only means you're more adept at certain things. Giving robots freedom of choice. That's the whole purpose of the A&D law. Yeah, but you know, you say you're resilient, but you don't look the part. True. I never upgraded my muscles. But I can stand up to 200 degrees Celsius without breaking a sweat. Lilum can sweat. Cooling agents, yes. No matter, you're still special to me what kind of robot you are, Lilum. No matter what piece of shit you are. Speaking of special, how come it isn't legal to marry a dog yet? Get out of my bar! Uh... Excuse me, what? <laughs> that sobered her up. If humans are allowed to marry robots, Lilum, I mean Lilum, they should be able to marry dogs too. Get out of my bar. I'm Trender. That's me, I think. This guy wants to bang a dog. Mock him. <laughs> gotcha. Excuse me? I do not. He, he definitely wants to bang a dog. I would just say that if humans are allowed to marry Lilin. <laughs> then why shouldn't they be able to marry animals? Because first of all, they're not humanoids. What about monkeys then? Now you want to bang a monkey? This guy is way too horny to be in my bar. I'm sorry. I do not! And second of all, dogs, just like any other animals, can't give you consent. But look at these dogs. The lasers are here to shoot the weird robot man. Sure, they have the cognitive abilities of seven-year-olds, but they could talk, drink booze, and argue. Now he wants to bang seven-year-old. Just see? See? Now you want to bang a seven-year-old. We have a regular hue, would be delighted. Fucking hell. I quit. God damn it. D how dare you? Dorothy already left. How dare you bring her up? Stop it. Remember, little human marriages are only sanctioned after the little is achieved. Full sentience. You. <laughs> I, I, I swear, they just forgot she was drunk at this point. Like, this, this is not drunk talk. And even then, they use marriage as a way to evolve the collective source. So it's dogs don't really love us that way. Trying to apply human ideas to a mar marriage like to a dog is like trying to feed vegetables to a carnivore, you hear me? Says the ex-vegetarian. Why are you only so smart when drunk? I'm not drunk. Sorry, if you want to screw a dog or a chimp, go ahead. Just don't bring marriage or infants into the whole deal. deal. You can start thinking about horizontal mumble at seven year old. Please take some mental help. Or some legal help. But I don't want to bang dogs. Or monkeys. Or seven year olds. Well, thank God. Why did you suddenly talk, talk about dog human marriage? It's just, I was thinking about all these dogs and tuxedos. Get out of my bar. Get out. I started picturing a dog in a bridal dress. I mean, just try and picture that. I would rather not. And I'm the drunk one. Wait, I'm not drunk, why would I say that? And again, you get drunk, you only get dizzy. Do you have a limit? Is there a limit to how much you can drink before passing out? No, I just get disoriented to the point where I'm effectively useless, but I never pass out. Maybe if I pass out, I wouldn't have to deal with all the shit that follows. I always have to wait until at least 24 hours before the effects pass. Dang. <laughs> Lilims get freaking wasted. 24 hour hangover. I don't envy you, dog banger. I read something about that. So that by giving this little the same kind of human weaknesses we do, they would develop the same way humans did. So that's why they also bite their lips randomly when eating. It seems like <laughs> what a very specific flaw to program in. But it makes me wonder, how anatomically correct are y'all? Please please don't ask what the dog banger looks like. That's something I know and you don't. <laughs> that was him. He was imitating her voice. 
Any of you want anything else to drink? Yeah, I want nothing. You're drunk enough as it is. You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Beatrice Albert, stop drinking right now. Yes, mom. Now go to sleep in the car. We're almost done here. But mom! Go. Hmm. Bye, dad nerd. Bad nerd nerd. Bye, Miss Betty. It actually works. If I didn't know she wouldn't remember anything tomorrow, I'd be afraid of retaliation. <laughs> you should be glad she won't remember all of the dog banging that you want to do. Although I'm curious, why do you call her Miss Betty? Makes you sound like a teacher or something. Etiquette? I don't know. You don't call anyone else Miss. It's also something... Wait, does she? I guess it's been a long ass time, I don't even remember. It's also something about it that makes you feel right to call her that. Oh, maybe it's the forehead. I see. Well, gotta get things ready, if you'll excuse me. Good luck, dog banger. <laughs> see, this dog wants- th that guy wants to bang dogs, this- this do this dog wants to bang dragons. I mean, it's just a mess. Hey! We're closing. Damn it! Well, everything's- everyone's safe in a cab. But we're taking our leave, bartender. I'm imagining, like, two humans and, like, 30 dogs in one cab. Like, clown car situation. We're taking a leave, bartender. Thank you for providing such great service on such short notice. That's my job. Uh, you were interesting too, Mr. Dogbanger? Well, thank you. I'll just be sure to tell our associates about the wonders of this place. Thank you, and please come again. We sure will. Send my regrets to Mrs. Betty. Your regards. <laughs> Send my regrets. Sadly. See you later. Bye. All done? Yep. Just like we got some new regulars. Yeah, be nice if they came back. Or that we're still here when they want to come back. They're yeah, acting weird all weekend. <gasps> oh, I know why she's flipping out. I know why. I am, but the bar is not. Yep. This is this is the reason the thing starts. Yay! Well, I guess you have the right to know. BTC sent us a message on Friday. Oh, fuck. We're at risk of being wiped on the, off the map. Yeah, they're having financial troubles. Oh. <laughs> this is immediate end. Okay. But yeah, that leads into the main story. Which you probably already watched it, it by now, because I did these all totally out of order. Yeah, let me see if is there any secret unlock. Nope. So yeah, I think I've now seen pretty much everything in this. I think there's a couple of like trophies I didn't get. There's um, there's some people I didn't get drunk because I didn't really get many people drunk in the first playthrough. But I'm not really super interested in going back and doing that. But uh, this was fun. Good to go back and visit the old thing, see some new stuff. I'm a little interested in that thing with Anna. I don't know if that's like a little sequel hook or what the deal is. Look at these spooky eyes. I think it's supposed to leave these like weird lights. Like those are for so like planes don't hit the buildings or something. Those things, I guess. I don't know. This this this, this thing, this tower is like a Mega Man. Like that's a Mega Man boss health meter. You can't tell me otherwise. Anyway. That, I guess, once again, is all of Valhalla that I have to play. So, thanks for watching.